What you doing? Nothing.
What you doing? Nothing. Yo, name. I see bras. Look. My niggas in the middle of the season. I see bras. So I got a name, a name drive everyone, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Young Thug, and Tay K, all the way down to Andre, Travis Scott, Logic, yeah, we ain't rockin' with you no more, we got Kim K and Dennis Rodman, 6 9 Rich Kid, Tyler Magic Johnson, J. Cole, Weezy, Kung Fu Kenny from Compton, Kim Jong-un, Lil' Kim Skin Diamond, Jim Carrey, Cisco, even Ricky Smiley, Jesus Christ, Condoleezza Rice, she's Wanda Sykes, and it wouldn't be me if I didn't Man, mention 50, 50 right, Kobe Bryant, Seal, Shia LaBeouf, and Kojo, and I always fuck up Giannis Antetokounmpo, Charlemagne, Lil Pump, Black Boy, oh, Jaden Smith, Eminem, Eric Ross, Lil Dicky, Cardi B, where's Richard Simmons, I'm the only bruh that I forgot to mention. The Unapologetic World app is available now on Android and iOS devices. You like exclusive shit? Weird shit? Dope shit? Informative shit? It's all here. Fuck are you waiting on? Go get the app. See you soon. I love you. TV and it's hot. Well, not quite hot, but it's hot in this room because we've got lots of good stuff coming up for you. Can I get this episode? <laughs> so I'm glad you're yeah. tuned in. How was your last two weeks? I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for talking about it. This cooler is uh, out of ice. There's no click in this glass, mostly because there's a lot of partying going on. <laughs> this is a party that I'm not even invited to. You couldn't get in. So let's talk about what's coming up tonight. We got a lot of good caller centric stuff. Uh, you saw at the beginning of the show we had the new Michael Beach video. That album is now out. If you can see behind me somewhere, there's some uh, pictures of it and, and examples of what it looks like. Uh, what else we got coming up in the rest of the show? We've got the magical Miss Moffy coming up. Um, lots of uh, oh, we got Ibex Clone coming on with a video. And we'll talk new music from them. And uh, I review the latest Charlie Kaufman film with my oh, usual Jimmy. gang of idiots. And uh, coming up first on the next uh, <laughs> thing of video. It's gotta be, right? Sections. What's that? Is the new Aquarium Blood video. 
Is That's it? gonna kick off our next set of videos. Echo. Oh, is it a so crazy now, echo? In a couple of weeks, and you'll see the first video coming up here live. Are we ready to launch that now, or it seems like there's some problem? There. I'm just gonna keep we talking. got a text that says your mic isn't on. Yeah. Oh. God damn it. I'm going to have to do all of that again. <laughs> Is the microphone not on? We're, we're going to figure it out. Is there a switch on this thing? <laughs> Is there an on button? Uh, there's no on button. Wow, that's all right. We'll roll with it. What's going on with you? <laughs> the computer mic. Oh, in that case. So in this episode of Gore Television, we got some new stuff coming up. The next thing we'll be playing is the Aquarium Blood video. Their album's coming out at some undetermined time in the next couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah... You're watching Gunner TV on a Friday night. So uh, have a good time with it. What you doing? Nothing. Who are you? I'm Victoria. What do you do? <laughs> um, organized stuff and stuff with the collective. What's the collective? 
It's a black arts organization. Uh, and Memphis working on creating a platform. What's the platform? For other black... Uh, <laughs> you mind if we talk with you about some random topics? I'd love to talk about random topics. D. <laughs> oh, did you say B? D. None of the Is in or C. <laughs> Hold on, what does C and D represent? Sure. <laughs> it's not A or B. I would have to do the roaches. How many roaches was it? It's 50 roaches. I could easily do the 50 roaches. Cockroaches roaches is like a quick crunch. Timon and Puma do it all the time. <laughs> you eat roaches anyway when you sleep in one like, crawling little mouth. I think that's spiders. I don't, I don't think it's roaches. All, man, you eat like a certain number of bugs every year unconsciously on average as a human. They just crawling your mouth and down your stomach. Are y'all being for real? I'm serious. <laughs> no, we're being for real. Are these roaches alive? Yes. I mean, but when you said raw, he didn't say alive. Are they dead or are these live roaches and rats? What Hold does on. that mean? <laughs> and a live rat would make that even easier. What? You sitting there biting into it's a like, rat and he's <laughs> tweaking like, bruh. It's a, a baby rat or like a full grown, like the New York size rat? I mean, I feel like. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I feel like the word rat in general is just associated with a certain size and demeanor. I just want somebody to answer my question. No. If you could never it see like again brother. versus if you could never have sex again, which would you guys choose? Sex? Yeah, I would definitely choose sex. I would, well, I would choose being able to see, honestly. Okay. I mean, hold on. When I say my <laughs> statement. Uh, what we got here? Do rag. Oh, <laughs> Wiz. All right, all right. We got a dude. He's trying to. He's trying to tie a do rag, man. You should know you can't do that. What? <laughs> this man. That's why you getting frustrated. What you about to? How <laughs> you about to fall? Ah! Oh, be screaming now. You the one that, that's tried to tie it. Hey, you rag. Right? What is it? Oh, damn. Now that's a, that's a new rag. Okay. Yeah, he's smiling now. I see you. Woo hoo. The waves is on swim. Like the whole hood respecting the man. Look at that embrace. Oh, damn. It's crazy. The sky all blue. That shit is stylish. I need one of those.
there's really nothing better than a box of records. Not even a bottle of beer. Things are gone in a matter of minutes. The final just won't disappear. I was walking down the alley on my way to the bar. And in the dumpster I'd have been to avoid. Hello. For those of you that couldn't hear me earlier, let me review. <laughs> anyway, um, what, did, what was happening? Uh, so at the beginning of the show, we had the fur of you, Michael Beach video, and that album is now out on Garner. You can see behind me, there's some examples of that. Um, we played the Aquarian Blood video after that. And uh, that album is coming out very soon. We're all looking forward to that here. Uh, what else have we got going on tonight? We've got uh, Ibex Clone coming up. Good video by them. Lots of new music, and we'll be talking to them as well. And uh, what else? was there any other reviewing of anything needed to be done? That I, was, I can't remember what I said at the beginning. Everything I said was great at the beginning, and now here I am stuck with nothing to say. <laughs> Unapologetic, yeah, we want to thank, oh, that's right, we want to thank Apologet Apologetic, Unapologetic <laughs> for his contributions tonight. That's been great stuff. we still got lots of good stuff coming up um, in the next video block. Uh, I review the new Charlie Kaufman film, but before that, we've got the magical Miss Mothy, and she's doing a performance to the actual Cobra Man song, or is it a cover of a Cobra Man song? The song itself, doing a performance to the Cobra Man song, Bad Feeling. That's going to be awesome. Let's just roll it right now. You're watching Goner Television.
Screenwriter and director Charlie Kaufman has taken us down some labyrinthian paths in the past with films like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Adaptation, and Being John Malkovich. In his latest directorial effort, I'm Thinking of Ending Things, Kaufman once again takes us down another windy road. It's a beautifully shot and acted film, if not a bit impenetrable. In this scene, the character known as Young Woman, portrayed by Jesse Buckley, contemplates ending a relationship, while in another time and space somewhere, a janitor sweeps a floor. We are on the way to visit his parents in a remote country farmhouse. We've only been dating a few months, maybe, or forever. I'm thinking of ending things. Did you say something? No. Weird. I am reciting a really long and ominous poem about returning home after a while. It's very long and very sad and I wrote it. I love it. I really do. telling you this very detailed and disturbing tale about pigs dying, being eaten alive by maggots. Life is hard on a farm. We are seemingly on the way home, but also can't seem to get anywhere. It is snowing, but I'm insisting that we stop for ice cream. We argue about whether baby it's cold outside is rapey or not, and refer to Anna Karenina and some other philosophical stuff. Do we move through time or does time pass through us? I'm thinking of ending things. Yes, it's a strange film. It's a Kaufman. So enjoy it for the ride, but don't watch it expecting an easy dis. <laughs> I'm thinking of ending things. Yeah, thank you. So you have to excuse me. I'm sorry. I was watching something funny on television. Um, yeah, that was great. I, I mean, I'm still thinking about that performance by the magical 
Miss Mothy. Does she have a website or something? Are we promoting Miss Mothy's? Uh, yeah. Well, look on. Y'all should look at that for more videos and things. I, I'm sure I will be. It's uh, That was crazy. I can't even get over it. Uh, so we got Ibex clone coming up. I don't know what else to say other than we could check in on the party going on. <laughs> That's still raging into the night. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got more stuff coming up before the end of the show. But now, uh, let's start off with the first of a series of songs by Ibex clone and their video. And you're watching Goner Television. Hey, we're, hey, we're Ibex clone. clone. This, this is, is just, just another, another human. human. Fire and the rise 
that's wrong and the revolution and a fast surprise. Those who made up the beaches spread across the land. For St. Goes, they came upon to kiss the burning hand and see the mouths. Suffocate or be smoked out. The yellow glasses on the river side Brooding eggs, red green asses Took to western climbs But the place and call it settled File the mountain down Fill the lines of generations With the fumes of the hair and now the gun Hands off the letters up the guitar We are here with Ibex Clone. Just stepped off stage over here. <laughs> Sounded great, guys. Yeah, I think. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So uh, I don't know. What's the point of this band? What made you think, hey, we're a band now. Let's let's do this Ibex Clone thing. George? Well, we were we were already a band, as uh, luck would have it. Uh, we were a band <laughs> called Hash Redactor. Yes! And, Good band. Um, <laughs> so we just it was pretty easy to just transition into being another band called Ibex Clone. So. You feel like this is different material. We needed to be a different band, or? Uh, well, it you know, it kind of you know most of it is stuff that I was bringing in, and originally Ibex Clone sort of started. It was Alec and me both playing guitars, and uh, yeah, Bill Doreen came through town, and uh, that was the first Ibex Clone show. So it was a band also while uh, Hash Redactor was more active and then just. We just kept on doing it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of interesting how bands form out of necessity sometimes. You know, we need someone to open up, so it's like, we'll try something, and yeah. then it turns into mm -hmm. something fun. It's yeah. the keep on trucking mentality. That's yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Raisin Rock. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of following the California Raisins <laughs> tradition, you know. So what, what are you guys working on? You, you got uh, a bunch of songs, right? Yeah, we've got quite a few songs. I mean, uh, a lot of the songs that we just released were ones that had been stewing for a couple of years. So 
after we released those, a bunch of new ones just sort of popped out. Yeah, so, yeah. You know how it goes. You gonna hit the road with this Ibex clone thing? That's the plan. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, good. Well, we got tapes now, so get, you can, yeah, you we can do. get physical media. That's right. Go to the go to the band camp and uh, get that kind of stuff. Is that where where all the fans are going? Yeah, very soon there will be tapes available on the band camp, which is ibexclone.bandcamp.com. That's good stuff. Uh, so everybody get yeah. their vaccines so uh, we can get this uh, stuff taken care of, so you guys can hit the road and go visit uh, Florida again. Or wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where where raisins congregate? <laughs> California. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it is. Well, what else? What, uh, so uh, there's there's like some uh, weird kind of uh, guitar sounds and stuff. Is is that is that uh, inspired by anything, or is it something you were messing around with that just kind of um, felt natural with this group? Uh, well, I was playing in another band called Shatterhand years ago, and uh, my friend Peter commented. I think there was one song I was doing some weird whammy stuff on, and he said that he liked uh, how much pitch bending was going on. So I just like really ran with that <laughs> and uh, just started putting the whammy on everything. The whammy yeah. in the chorus yeah. sounds really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just going for as as much uh, detuning as, po you know, as humanly possible while still keeping it you know having some semblance of melody in there you know? right that's a good thing about it. if you if you play intentionally out of tune you can play squires yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you don't have yeah. to have a 300 hundred dollar guitar to, to play music that's right that's right and uh yeah the the right note is implied most of the time yeah you, you have to fill in the blanks I, you you require something of the audience that's good uh, you know People like to work. That's right. <laughs> come ready to, th to think, to try to figure it out when you come to the Ibex clone shows. That's right. Well, all right. Uh, anything else you guys want to you want to add? I just, uh, we miss you, Charlotte. Yeah, I miss you, Charlotte. Miss you, Charlotte. <laughs> and uh, happy birthday, Cole Wheeler. Everybody wish Cole a happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah. No, no bright lights or, or quick noises around Cole. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's Ibex Clone. Go to their band camp and uh, check it out. We got some more from Ibex Clone next. Ooh. Hi, we're Ibex Clone, and this is online. Ah, the worst. The inside of your mind. <laughs>
All right, we're back here in the music store. I don't know if y'all realize this, but we do shoot Goner Television from the back of an actual working record store here in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, with records and clerks and everything else. And uh, <laughs> you can't run a record store without record fans. And Eric Friedel here, who has been associated with Goner for many a month and year, is a music fan. And he's going to talk to you about some good records we have in the store and things tonight, aren't you? Eric, say hello to the people hello. that you, you were just talking to a minute ago. Hello. I'm back. I don't leave your mic's on. My, my mic's on. You want to take this one? Is this one working? Check, check, check. Here, just take that. Hello. I can use this one. Does that work? Yeah. Is that better? All right. How's that? Um, we got a bunch of stuff in the store. Lots of records. Go to the website. Come to the store if you're in town. Um, one of the things that uh, we got in, no one's buying DVDs, but we got in TV Party uh, documentary uh, DVD. This is Glenn O'Brien's uh, cable access TV show from the 80s, I believe. Uh, it's got, it's like, what, it, what if you put a camera on a bunch of drunk New York artists and uh, they're really drunk and it's really funny. Yes. Um, it's really great. Uh, Debbie Harry, Tab Falco shows up in here. Fab Five Freddy, bunch of, bunch of New York. Uh, I'm just gonna have Fab Five Freddy my way through this. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, <laughs> anyway, sort of one of the inspirations for this thing. If if we were all really sloshed and just pan the camera around constantly and um, did it in uh, blue and black uh, video, it would look something like this. And for those not in the know, that's an actual DVD, isn't it, Eric? It's a DVD. It's it wasn't a, a DVD player. That's right. Yeah, if you don't have you if you don't have uh, one of those, you, you can get one. There's lots of stuff that's not on YouTube, and it might look better. Billups would know more about it than me. Uh, he watches movies. I watch uh, cartoons. I have a VHS player at home. I, I do too. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy that. Yeah. I enjoy it myself. Yeah. A lot of good oh. stuff you can't get on there. Yeah. Well, here's another thing we got in here. It's uh, another antiquated format, CDs. Yeah. <laughs> CDs oh, yeah. Boy. Talk about stuff that no one pays attention to. <laughs> it's uh, Make More Noise, Women in Independent UK Music. And I was looking, and I don't think Lush is on here, but there's a lot of really good bands on here. The Delmonas and Sinead O'Connor and like a million other uh, female-fronted, female-based uh, bands. Um, here with a huge book and uh, four CDs, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, cool stuff. CDs, CD. y'all. Yeah. It's you know it'll be, it'll come out as like a ten LP box set for half a second for record store day, but you just get the CDs. It's cheaper. And CD stands for compact disc. A couple uh, clean records just got reissued. First time on vinyl for uh, Mr. Pop and uh, that's Mr. Pop and uh, Unknown Country. Kind of later, clean stuff, not not totally tally hoeing, but uh, still the clean we we uh, know and love. The clean in the house. That's right. Uh, we might have mentioned this before, but the girls' record on Hozak is uh, um, Rob Vasquez and uh, Bongo Beaten all around, and it's really brings me back to the idea that you could just form a band, have a really good time, and be the best band in the world. Oh, 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 girls with a no. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's it's fantastic. Got it back in stock. Check it out. Uh, as, of, as of right now, we might be the only store that has the Maradur record right here. Uh, Elise from uh, Coteau Latex. Um, uh, it's fun. It is uh, electronic kind of uh, Base rock pop stuff in multiple languages makes you stupid for only speaking English, but uh, you know, they're fancy over there and uh, it's really good. They're based out of uh, Leipzig, Germany. Fun stuff. Have yet to pronounce that one correctly. Yeah, uh, someday I will. Uh, here's a record that you get with a uh, envelope sealed with uh, wax here. This is, uh, this is the Dracula uh, Invitational. Uh, it's a it's a fake soundtrack uh, for a Dracula movie uh, done in surf style from uh, what's his name Mr. Mr. Science is that his name? Madman John Tuhill. Yeah and uh, yeah he's a madman he's great all all his projects are amazing we got a bunch of his forty uh, fives and uh, other other records in but this one has uh, really it, it's fun it, it reminds me. 
reminds me why I like surf music after I think I hate it. So, uh, it's surf. Uh, here's a blast from the past that you, probably everybody knows, but if you don't have the Hartle Road record, you should get it. It's uh, kind of a sleeper that, uh, you know, a bunch of kids in Mississippi, again, they just sat and jammed together and jammed together until they were the best band in the world. So um, you'll, you'll listen to this and just go, oh my God, it's like Faust or Can or something, uh, but they're teenage kids and uh, they're not teenage kids anymore, but it's an amazing record. You should get it. And uh, last thing I got is uh, probably not long for this world until they reissue it, but it's uh, this Malam Mahmoud Ghania uh, record, which is Nawa uh, trance jams from Morocco. Uh, not a lot of information on exactly when this record is from, but um, he was kind of the king of this style of music, which is super hypnotic uh, African uh, trance kind of uh, jams, semi relatable to our uh, hill country blues stuff, but uh, kind of in a league of its own. Um, this was on this hive mind label that likes to uh, press up records that go instantly out of print. So if you see it, grab it. I think we got one left. Anyway, I enjoy it. That's what I got. Go check the website for more fun stuff to buy. Records on the website. Thank you for that information. Uh, we're always glad to know about some new records coming out. That's fun. It's you fun. you move very fast and efficiently with it, too. I appreciate it. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot People of time. People have to get drunk. Well, this is um, <laughs> I've been drinking heavily. Too late, right? Yeah. yeah. So too other people late are on the west, east, uh, the west coast. You know, they're, they're, well, they're three hours yeah, they're us. they're drinking three hours longer than everybody else. So that's what happens. Um, I don't know any other business for tonight or anything we need to. We got we go. What do we have coming up at the end? More video block with is, is there more Ibex clone? This is it. This is it. Oh, this is video block. This is video block five. I'm not right. really here talking. I'm on video. I didn't get that. I am video block five. I now rule you. It's like a THX situation. Yeah, you all know, see that movie Nightmares where the guy's in the video game. That's what this is like. Um, all right. I don't know. This has been a fun show. I don't know what else to say about it. It was a good, good stuff. We'll thank, we'll thank everybody. How about that? Thanks to Ivex Clone. Uh, thanks to Magical Miss Moffy. Yay! Uh, thanks to Aquarian Blood for being a great band. Uh, Michael Beach, also, who really didn't do much, but he, you know, we played his music, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> Well, I mean, really, really, you know, he didn't call in or anything. So. Thank, thanks to Billups and his uh, his acting crew for uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, oh yeah, trying, to, trying to convey what was going on in that movie. They, they are those guys are the un, they're really good. They're the unknown uh, uh, members of Goner TV, aren't That's they? That's right. Yeah, they, just, they do more than anybody, and they're getting better at it. I thought I thought they're their excellent. I thought yeah. their last rep that last thing was better than the video itself. Um, <laughs> Well, that movie is Maybe really Charlie that movie is them. complicated, man. I'm telling you, right, like right. if you had had to do that video, you couldn't have done as good a job as I did, and I do a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> we we picked the movie, they did the thing, and I watched it. And I was like, "What in the hell is going on with this thing?" There's a guy sweeping a floor every few minutes, and uh, and like I, I mean, I actually like Kaufman, but I I couldn't follow that movie. I don't know what the sim symbolism was. So anyway, I, but I still recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, I think I've babbled enough, right? We on we we out. Uh, come to the store, see us, and say hello. We'll be back in in two weeks. What do we any anything we got in two weeks? Yeah. I know I got something in two weeks. I've got, but... got a good interview, and uh, we're going to see a really good okay. short film by Jason Willis. We got the, uh, that's another that's segment. Right. Yeah. Um, it's a really funny little movie. You'll get to see a seven. You'll get to see a movie with Bill up sees a movie. So it'll be kind of, you know, meta narrative thing. And, we'll uh, we'll have a big announcement by then. We'll and, have a uh, big announcement. Uh, I think promise. Ryan's world, Ryan's shorts, might have something coming for us. So. Yeah. So we got a lot of the gang doing stuff. And if you and, have any dispensaries in your area, you might want to stock up before that show. <laughs> I think it's beautiful that we're getting all these people together to make some videos and just show them for the heck of it like this. So I think it's a lot of fun. And I encourage you to do the same and uh, let us know where you're doing it. And uh, particularly if you're in Memphis, we'll try to 
support Memphis things. And uh, I'm glad to, to y'all are seeing us the world over. People are asking where they can find out about future episodes. Where can they follow us? Where can they follow us? At, is, we have a website, don't we? Goner yeah. Records. Probably the worst <laughs> place to follow. God. <laughs> Goner Dash Records. The, the, the does. There's so much going on. You know, every every two weeks, this is going to come on. This is a good place to find out. We've got uh, we've got our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, we're looking to get in on TikTok. If my nine year old will tell us how to do it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where we where we're at. All right, I feel like I've said too much. You got anything else to say? No, that's All it. Right. That's well, it. thanks thanks again. And uh, third nap drools. <laughs> And, uh, oh, yeah, I got that T-shirt coming to that person. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take it easy. Oh, oh yeah, one more time. <laughs> that party is going on all night. Miss Mothy's in there. Yeah, ah! so that party will not stop until the break of dawn. So enjoy that. Um, and we'll <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>